Hello again you lovely people. I was going to do a review um, the other day of the um, Tiger Telematic Gizmundo but I'm having technical issues with the menu. Um, but what I can do is show you it booting up. I can get into a game quickly because it plays absolutely fine when you're on a game. And we're going to take a look at my all-time favourite Gizmundo game which is called Sticky Balls. Um, here we are and we've gone into the uh, game there. Let's go into it quickly. Here we are, this is Sticky Balls. It was probably, um, well, it was one of the best-selling games on the Gizmondo, and it has an absolutely hilarious um, intro, which I'm going to show you, and then I'll show you some gameplay. Right, here we go. Very humorous. Right, let's play a bit of the game. It's a really fun game. Very colourful, very cute to see. Especially a match match colours game. Match coloured balls. Right, so here we go. Uh, yeah. Pull back on that, there we go. You see, very simple. Really, really addictive and fun game. And it shows you what the Gizmondo was capable of, such a shame. Um, it was a big fat con and a failure. The biggest failure, well, one of the biggest failures in there. Uh, Gaming history, really. I'm going to stick all the, the uh, corresponding colours together to clear that colour. And then obviously you see these little floating points, if you hit them you get extra bits and bobs the less moves you do it in the better
Oh, it gets a bit harder now. Anyway, that's basically the premise of um, Sticky Balls. Very simple, highly addictive, lovely game. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, turn the console off. I've uh, hardwired this, so all I have to do is literally just unplug this. There we go, and it's off. Right. <coughs> Um, we'll take a bit of a look around the console. I mean, obviously this one, um, it actually is originally black and it has a rubber around what is now blue. Um, and that over time it deteriorates and gets sticky. Um, so what's happened to this unit is it's been cleaned up with propyl alcohol, taken it all off um, and then it was given a respray, which is lovely nice blue colour there and um, it does have a bit of screen burn which is what you could probably see in the video just now but yeah no it's um still works fine apart from its little technical issue of course with the menu system so here on the front we have these buttons here it's basically like a play button a square and then blah 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 uh, a directional pad which looks very very odd but in fact it's lovely absolutely love this this uh, pad up here you got your uh, you got your different options buttons there for power on home screen uh, volume brightness and so on as i said this was also a sat nav um, and it was a very competent one a very nice sat nav and worked extremely well which is you know it's probably why it has screen burn i can imagine whoever had this at one point and probably had it in their car for too long in the heat and that's what gave it the screen burn but there we've got an l button and your r button there's your speaker and that's about it on the on the front and top there's your oh, if i can focus that in there's your gizmondo brand there underneath you have Basically, your headphone jack, your your adapter, your, you know your uh, power point. You have your uh, USB, which is a, a very odd one. Um, it's I think it's the same as what the PSP has. There's your SD slot. Fun thing with the Gizmondo is uh, where nobody gives a damn about the games anymore. Or anything you you know, you can save yourself a lot of money and just download all the games off the internet. Whack them onto an SD card. And you got the whole lot, uh, of which there was only about eight released commercial games, and then there was quite a lot of uh, beta and leaked games after the company folded. Of course, the company was um, notorious. Um, they were funded uh, in part by the Swedish Mafia, and uh, when they first launched the Gizmondo, it was actually... Um, it's such expensive parties that they basically all the money that they got from MTV sponsorship and so on it was all blown on it and it didn't really leave anything for development which is very unfortunate and I am going to do a bigger review with more games um, soon so I won't go too much into that but I'll just show you basically my system which has been been uh, respread not completely yet as you'll see from the back here where it's been hardwired just with you know Ties it up a bit with some electrical tape there. Still got the undercoat here, so it needs to be finished. But there's your camera. This, of course, is your battery cover. So, yeah, there's uh, not really much more to say about the cosmetics of it. So, as I say, I'm going to do another uh, review of this machine when I can get through the menu system a bit better. A bit better. Uh, it just needs to be <coughs> reflashed and uh, we'll be absolutely fine and if not then i'll just keep going into the games and then show you that way and give you some more of the history about tiger telematics in general and so on so yeah thank you um for joining me with this video of my favorite game on the gizmondo sticky balls and uh i'll see you again soon goodbye <laughs>